Hello, and welcome to Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com and see what we can code in 5 minutes. We'll press on the code link there, and then we'll hit copy. And that copies our template, and we'll paste that into an editor such as Adam. What we're going to do, well, first of all, we'll get rid of this stuff that was in there, the circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to code some sound. Does that sound good? So let's start that timer. We'll come on up. We load sound just like any other asset up here. Uh, const assets. Uh, is equal to now if we only have one sound we don't need to put it in an array if we had more than one sound we could put it in an array or even load uh, a CreateJS audio sprite so a zim audio sprite and let's do that uh, well not the audio sprite just the sound and that was called backing.mp3 and then we can say const path is equal to assets like that oh a slash there that's where they're located or where this one's located and we will say assets comma path there we can also put in a new waiter or a progress bar if there's a lot of sounds but a waiter just gives us three little dots we won't even see it here locally but if the sound is like there's a big file size then you might want to do that and then to play the sound it's frame dot asset the name of the sound, which was backing.mp3 and dot .play. There we go. And let's try her out. So we'll open in a browser. Super. So there's the sound playing. Now if we want to change that so it plays forever, this is loop colon true in there. We can set the volume in there as well. And if we want to control it later, we would put this into a variable. Const sound is equal to that. And what this returns is a CreateJS sound instance. As a matter of fact, CreateJS is really doing all the heavy loading here um, for, for the loading. <laughs> heavy lifting for the loading. <laughs> heavy loading. Um, uh, but we've sort of brought it into one system for... Um, assets and sound and kind of or, uh, pictures, images and sound and hopefully made that a little bit easier for you. Okay, so if we want we could wait a sec, time out, <laughs> wait a sec literally, we'll wait one second and we'll call this arrow function here uh, and inside there we can say sound dot stop for instance. And there's also paused equals true, pause equals false, uh, anyway, this will stop the sound after a second. Shall we try? There we go. So that, that's how we can control a sound later. Oh, what we're wanting to do is actually set its volume with a dial. So let's do that. A new dial. This is a new Zim dial. We'll set a min of zero on that for the zero volume and a max of, say, two. And we don't want steps of zero, one, two, so we'll say step. Uh, by default steps are one, so we'll say step point one, and that will give us enough there, I think. We'll center that on the stage, and when that dial changes, we will call this arrow function right here, and hit it, and collect the event object there. Um, now we can say e.target, that is the dial, uh, dot current value, and as a matter of fact, we're going to be setting the sound dot volume, volume is equal to that. And this will allow us to set that dial. Why don't we make that a bit bigger so we can see it nice and easily. Dot ska, since it's the only thing, <laughs> only thing on the stage. Dot ska equals three, and we save that. And, and let's uh, open that up in the browser, which was already here. Padoomp, and we refresh. So there it goes, and oh, we didn't start with the right value, so uh, really we should start this off at, I should have turned that down, um, sound dot, uh, oh, we'll do it, e dot, mm, the dial, darn, um, const dial is equal to that, that means if we want we can say, just say dial in here. We don't really need the E, but whatever. 
and then we can say dial dot current value is equal to one because that's our starting sound um, volume <laughs> there. So that now that starts at one, and we can turn it right down to zero and bring it up to twice as much, which I can't quite tell, but anyway, I'm sure it is. Nice. There. Oh, we better stop that timer. Woohoo! And we did it. So that was us working in some sound um, with Zim, and we changed the volume of the sound. Uh, that's pretty cool, huh? And so, uh, this has been a Code in Five Minutes with Zim. And I am Dr. Abstract, and thank you for our theme song, Eliminators. Uh, this is Punta Baja, so go check them out. Uh, we tried to help them out with some, some cash, but uh, their emails um, all full. So, uh, oh, <laughs> we still got that backing sound going in behind there. I am Dr. Abstract for Code in 5 Minutes with Zim. If you like what you're seeing, you're welcome to come in and join us at uh, zimjs.com slash slack. And, and hang out and ask any questions, show us what you're building. Come on in and work with Zim. It's very uh, fun, creative, and certainly you have sound control. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Bye.